Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn patching. This involves assembling NOP instructions, also known as no operation instructions, and the patching process itself. So let us begin. Let us open this in x64 dbg. Now we run to the entry point, F9, and then we look for the string, try harder, and put a breakpoint here, at the point where it is supposed to jump. In our last lesson, we saw that we should not allow this jump to take place. If this jump happens, it will display the bad message. What we want is for the jump not to take place. Instead, we want it to go to the next call, which will show the good message, which is our flag itself. And then what we did was we toggle the zero flag like this so that the jump will not take place. So if the jump will not take place, the call to show the good message will happen. However, when we toggle the flag like this, it is only temporary. It is not permanent. Let me demonstrate. Let us put the breakpoint here first. Then we run to the breakpoint. Now the jump will be taken. But let us toggle the flag. And then click on F8. And as you can see, the flag is shown. But if we were to re restart and rerun the program, this toggle will be reverted back to its default state. Let's, let's take a look. Now if I were to rerun to the flag again, if I were to rerun to the jump again, notice that the jump again will be taken. And we again have to toggle the flag. So, in order to avoid having to keep toggling the flag every time we run, we can make it permanent. So, the way we make it permanent is, we have to modify the instruction here. So, there is an instruction which you can use in order to remove this instruction. And that instruction is called NOP. NOP stands for No Operation Instruction. So we can substitute this with NOP so that this instruction will never take place. To substitute this with NOP, we double click it or press the space bar. And then here, make sure that we check the field with no ops checkbox. And then we type NOP in here. You can type it in uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. And then press OK. So now, close this dialog box and you can see the jump instruction has been replaced with 2NOP. Why does it replace with 2NOP? Because the original jump instruction used up 2 bytes. So we need to replace the 2 bytes. That is why we have 2 NOPs. So now that we have replaced the jump instruction with NOP, we do not have to bother about the zero flag anymore. So to make this permanent, we can save this exe executable as a new file. So to do that, we click on file, select patch file, and then here it gives you a summary of the patches. So there are two patches, one patch is here, another patch is here. So let's patch file, click on the button patch file, and then give a new name to your new file. I will choose the old name and append the dash patch behind the name. Notice you have to maintain the .exe extension because it is an executable file. Click on save to save the file. Click OK and close this dialog. Now you can test your new file by opening it. 
and selecting the batch file just say yes yes again and now your new batch file has been loaded to memory loaded into x64 dbg so click on f9 to run to the entry point and now you are at the entry point so if you scroll down and look at the string you will see that the, the, the previously there was a jump but we have replaced it with NOP and an NOP still maintains meaning that it is now permanent we do not have to use uh, any zero flag toggling zero flag anymore so over here we can put a jump put a breakpoint we can put a breakpoint over here or over here or anywhere here so that the program will pause and show us the output of the new message which is supposed to be the flag so let's put a breakpoint maybe over here and then run to this uh, breakpoint by pressing F9 so now we are at a call if we were to F8 now it will execute the call press F8 and see the output in the terminal F8 and you can see it prints the flag to the terminal so this is now permanent if I were to remove the breakpoint however and rerun it F9 to go to entry point and notice now there is no breakpoint if I were to rerun it it will execute and terminate the program because there is nothing to stop it so we still need to have a breakpoint so let's try again restart run to entry point by F9 by pressing F9 and then make sure you go and put your breakpoint at the uh, somewhere here and then run to the breakpoint by pressing F9 then press F8 to see the output okay so we still need to have a breakpoint in order to pause the program at the correct place to see the output another place to put a breakpoint is to put it after the call so you can put a breakpoint maybe over here or over here anywhere you like so you can put a breakpoint over here even or here so let's put a breakpoint here so you put a breakpoint here now when we rerun, rerun press F9 to go to entry point press F9 to run to the breakpoint you can see immediately it shows the print out on the terminal because our breakpoint is after the call so this call is executed and then it shows this uh, flag then it comes to the jump the jump will jump over the bad message and go to our breakpoint here and stop okay so this is how we patch our file using the uh, no op instruction to overwrite or uh, remove any jump that we don't want uh, to happen and uh, patching itself requires the use of the command file patch file okay so now i'm going to post a challenge to you and uh, you can try to solve it as an exercise in patching so at the moment if we were to remove any breakpoint and run as i mentioned earlier it will not pause it will just run execute show the message and quickly close the program so can you find a way to patch the program so that when you run it it will stop it will stop at the message um, over here that means it will show the message and it will not quit so can you do that so if at the moment if you were to try to run it from command line you will also not stop at the message let me show you if i were to go to
if I were to run the patch file, notice that it executes and it doesn't display anything and it quits. So can you now find a way to patch the file so that it will show the message and stop there and will not con will not exit the program. Okay, so just try to patch the file in such a way that it will run, show the the flag itself, and pause there without exiting and without using any breaks. So many breakpoints. So that is a challenge for you to try. Try to solve it. And I will show you the solution in the next lesson. I will give you a tip. If you want the program not to quit but to stop and show the message, you should use jump. So that's the hint. You should patch the file with jump. So earlier on, I taught you how to patch the file using NOP. So I repeat, in order to patch the file, you must double click or spacebar and then type in whatever new instructions you want to uh, use to, to override the earlier instruction and then click OK. Make sure you check this box. This is very important. Check this. So this process of, of uh, overriding the or changing or modifying an existing instruction is also known as assembling. So when you, when you assemble, you are actually changing the instruction which is uh, already there. Okay, so that's the tip. You should now modify this to jump somewhere so that you will not quit the program. So give it a try. See you next lesson. Thank you for watching.